Hi, it's Melissa, and I wanted to share another tip with you today. Um, I'm outside on my back deck because I'm going to be burning some fabric, and I don't want to set my smoke detectors off in my house. If you're like me, I am finding some fabric in my basement that I haven't seen in a really long time. I'm trying to find more fabric to make masks. And the preferred fabric is 100% cotton. Usually I can tell by touch, but I don't always trust myself. So I wanted to check a couple of fabrics and make sure they're really 100% cotton. So this is the fabric I'm testing today. What I'm gonna do is show you the difference between cotton and cotton polyester and how they look different. Um, so first things first, I have water handy in case we have a fire that's out of control. My hair is slightly pulled back, <laughs> pull your hair back. Um, you wanna have a glass container and you want to have tweezers, I'm using these, um, to light a small piece of fabric on fire. I'm going to show you first a piece of 100% cotton because I know that this fabric is 100% cotton and I want to show you what it looks like when we light it on fire. So I'm going to put it in my clamp, I'm going to light it up and I want you to watch it with me and we'll see what it looks like while it burns. It's a windy day so uh, we'll see if the flame goes. It's burning very quickly. It's got a bright orange flame burning really, really fast. It's got a black smoke. I'm going to get kind of get out of the way here. And let's see how long it takes to kind of burn itself out. Like I said, this is 100% cotton. So it's our test sample, so I can kind of show you the difference between what cotton looks like when it burns and a polyester cotton when it burns. Okay, so it's starting to burn itself out. The smoke's sort of gray. If you look at it close up, you can see it's got a gray ash and a black ash, and it's very, it kind of dissolves. If I let this cool down, that ash is still hot. It's just going to crumble. This is still a little piece of fabric. Okay. As I feel this fabric, I'm actually thinking there is some polyester in that. You can tell because it has a little bit of shine to the ash. It's got a little bit of a shine. So that fabric actually wasn't 100% cotton. Feel this ash is going to have a crunch to it. So, hey, I proved myself wrong. That was not 100% cotton. That fabric actually had some polyester because the ash is crunchy. Shouldn't be crunchy. So that, had, so that fabric I just burned had a little bit of polyester in it. Now I'm gonna dump this ash on my table here. And we're going to light up this piece of fabric. Now this piece of fabric I suspect also, I think this one has um, some polyester in it just by the feel of it. So let's see what happens. They're probably going to be fairly similar, but this also has polyester. So it's burning pretty quickly. You can see how the fabric's kind of pulling away from the flame in a way. The flame's pretty big. You don't want to breathe that in. It's got a black flame. Keep watching the flame. All right, so let's take a look at that ash. It's still kind of burning. It didn't even burn all the way. And if you look at it, you can almost see a shiny, it's a little bit shiny right there, which is a really big clue. Something in here was kind of plastic. You can kind of see the shininess. It's crunchy. And if it was all cotton, it would not be crunchy like that. So let's try one more fabric. This fabric, I am 100% sure <laughs> is all cotton. If it's not, I will be shocked. This should burn differently. So let's kind of compare it. All 
I can tell the smell is different. It smells like a tree, like if you're having a uh, campfire. You can see how quickly it's burning and most of the ash or the flame is not, the fabric is not pulling away from the flame like it did with the other fabrics. And you can see how fast it is burning. We got a really windy day there, so I don't know if it'll burn the whole way. Still kind of burning a little bit. All right, so let's take a look at this. It's still kind of burning. You can see that the ash is very feathery. It's like powder. It's just kind of dissolving. The ash just dissolves. It's not crunchy at all. It is, it's like an, it's just like a fine powder. There's nothing really left in there, you can see. So this is an interesting comparison. This is 100% cotton, smelled like burning wood, left a powdery ash, not crunchy. These were cotton polyester. They left a crunchy, crunchy ash. So as you're sewing your fabrics and you're digging them out of your basement and you're really struggling to figure out what they are, because there's no fabric labels on these, this is one trick that you can do. Hard, crunchy ash means it's got a uh, man-made fiber in it. And if it burns completely away and has a very powdery ash, it's a cellulosic fiber, probably cotton. Hope this helps you and be safe when you do this. Have water handy, but your hair pulled back and just be careful. Um, you don't wanna hurt yourself with fire and you don't wanna set anything outside on fire either. Uh, message me if you have any questions. Thank you.